Hello everybody, I'm Richard Tier from Gapping at Hall Graphic Lab and uh, I want to show you the Blender integration that we have made with Microsoft HoloLens. Uh, this will be a short demonstration, but you can imagine all the possibilities that this generic software will give you. Enjoy the ride! Okay. Uh, we are coming to my uh, computer because it's connected to the HoloLens device. And uh, here you can see the past of CAD computer aided engineering, like from the times of the 80s. You see uh, some plants and uh, various sides of an object. And it's very hard to tell what the hell is this. Go to the late 80s, maybe you can tell what the object is about. Uh, time of the 90s. And now we are going to uh, show you how it looks today. Because all I need to start is this Blender Holograms application that we have made. And uh, this is really revolutionizing uh, computer aided design. Grapton's ERT Grap Event is the uh, maker of this software, of course. Okay. What you see there is the coordinate origin. And uh, what I'm going to do is to add a cube with a size of one. Uh huh. Okay. It seems that this object will be... There. What happened to this? Uh, well, I need to import it once again, I think. Okay. I will size it a little bit lower and uh, tell the system to render it with the external operator. I can choose the HoloLens through Wi-Fi. We have made this plugin to the open source Blender program. And uh, if I give the IP address, which I have hopefully gave, I can see the results. <coughs> and now we can render the object in three dimensions. The good thing is that this, this integration is completely, uh, okay, not completely, but nearly real time. So if I move the object a little bit to the back, or maybe turn a little bit, uh, or why not? We can change some points of it just to uh, make some wings for R2D2. Then, of course, these can be seen in real life, in real time. <coughs> the speed is also uh, good because it's completely asynchronous and uh, having C++ uh, for model loading. You can also load uh, normal maps uh, specular maps and all kinds of uh, materials that you are working with. Uh, we have not completed the animations, but it's also easily uh, integratable if you really have this business need. So, thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully this gives some insights for you about what it can be used for.